Back on C and wrap up. up. Carson Newman with an overtime win over Newberry, 89 to 83. I'm Adam Cavalier along the two, along with the two top scorers from today's game, Antoine Davis, Ish Sanders. Gentlemen, first off, congratulations on the win. Ish, we'll start with you. Uh, you're in the top ten all time. I know that's probably not on your mind right now after an overtime win where you score 27, but you surpass Todd Lucas uh, with now you have 1,266 points for your career. What's that mean to you? Um, I mean, it means a lot, especially doing it with, with the guys that I'm around right now. Uh, we're, we're all like a family, and um, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored to be in that category. You, you look at what the two of you did today. You combined for 58 points. Antoine, you had 31. What was the key offensively between the two of you? Almost a fire and ice inside out sort of game. You going inside, it's going out. You know, we, that's basically what we do. You know, we, I try to attack the glass, attack the room, and he do what he do. We, we basically create for each other. I, I think it's, it's a one-two punch that sometimes um, – I, I usually start off hot sometimes, or he starts off hot, but the other one always comes around in the second half. Or like we both did, we both came around in the second half, and, and, and it was deadly. So, what was the difference over that? When after you got down 12 in the second half, you outscored 19 to 8 over a six-minute span or a seven-minute span, 13 minutes to the six-minute mark. What changed that enabled you to push back and tie and compete for the game? Uh, staying together, and uh, we, we really picked up our defensive intensity. Uh, it, 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 was, it was poor, to say the least, in, in the first half. And coaches preached stay together and stay together, and, and, and that's basically all we did. So. Twan, Chuck said that you played sick. How did you describe your health right now? I mean, I'm, I'm all right. I'm going to make it through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're I'm not going to catch through. anything from you oh, on the, no, on the, no, ride no, no, on the bus ride back. <laughs> what, 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 did, what was it like playing out there uh, with whatever bug that you've got? I mean, as a leader, you just got to gotta fight through it. You know, can't make no excuses, so that's what I did. This sets up a couple of big contests this coming week at LMU Wednesday, home against Anderson Saturday. How do you ish stay within yourself as a team and not get too high, too low for those games? I mean, I, I, I can't say it enough. Stay together. Um, I mean, it's, it starts in practice. Um, we compete against each other in practice. We, we know we have tough ones coming up. Um, and just stay humble. Like we're, we're not, we're not satisfied with where we're at right now. We, we obviously want to get further. So, Juan, we've heard unity tossed around quite a bit here post game. How much ha has that unity kept you in games or allowed you to come back this season? I think it keeps us together. Like when we we down 12, you know, once we down, we get unified even more. I think so. We just able to fight back, and it works. Gentlemen, congratulations on the win. Ish, congrats on making the top ten all time. Appreciate it. He's a superstar, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>